Um, trade dub. What's going on, buddy? Let's Level go. dose. That looks a little bit better. Anyway, sneak peek for third world. Oh, yay! Can't wait for that. At least they tell me where the fireballs are, or the fire bars. That's good. Nice indicators. Oh. <sighs> that wasn't the smartest thing I've done. You saw a Pizza Hut. You saw a Pizza Hut ad, and now you're hungry. I just had Fazoli's. Excuse me. I don't know if you guys have those anywhere where you are. Like fast food Italian joint. They're pretty good. Oh. Yeah, I caught bullshit on that. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I get for the coins. <clears throat> well, we had a good start, and then it uh, kind of went off the rails, right? Kind of, uh, the huge. There could be only one. I did. I wish on the air stall when I... I sh no, that one was my fault. The air stall and he was coming back, that... That shouldn't have killed me. Anyway, I'm gonna... Start playing well now. Maybe. Couldn't have that. I'm just happy to be here. Happy to see you guys. Um, so yeah, well, let me get the checkpoint first. Story time. Uh, if you guys didn't know, there was a bombing in Nashville in front of the AT&T building. Uh, some radical hillbilly, I guess, is what they're calling it. God, I look way too dark now. Hang on. Uh, supposedly blew himself up. Although I don't believe that he's dead, but I'm just a conspiracy kind of guy. Let's make me just a little bit wider here. Just a little bit wide around the edges. There we go. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, we lost internet all weekend. Otherwise, I would have been here. Uh, I mean, supposedly the dude that did it got killed, but I don't know. Nobody else got killed. Um, minor injuries from the police that were there that heroically went and got everybody out. That was, uh, there's like an apartment there on 2nd Avenue. <laughs> Drag people out of their, their rooms, like with no underwear, you know, underwear on and no clothes on. Just get out, get out, get out, get out, get out quick. So six heroic police, Metro police officers. Got everybody out. So nobody got killed. Uh, at least no victims got killed. And uh, the weirdest thing is the blast happened at 6.30 a.m. Christmas morning, Saturday. Or uh, Friday. And we didn't lose our internet until about 11.30 a.m. And we're about, I don't know, a half hour away. So it's just weird, you know, when they say that there was major damage done to one of their network hubs. Or their main network hub. Yet... Five hours later, we uh, we lost our internet, and it was out the entire weekend. So, I don't know. Something's fishy about it. I don't believe everything that we've been told, but that again, that's just me. It's twenty twenty. I mean, there was a, there was a warning. There's a pre-recorded message playing the entire time. Twenty minutes until detonation. Everybody, you know, get everybody out. Everybody evacuate. So he wasn't trying to kill anybody. Um, he just wanted to apparently hurt AT&T because, uh, I don't know what that 5G's doing to people, so we gonna, we gonna take him out. They say he was a recluse, he had gifted the house that the feds searched in Antioch to a woman in Los Angeles who apparently claimed they have no record of it. I guess he gifted two properties to her. His neighbors say he kept to himself, I'm like, you hear that shit all the time, right? Uh, he supposedly told one of his neighbors that, uh... He was going to do something big this weekend, and everybody's going to remember him, and 
He'll be remembered, you know. Nashville will remember him forever. Dude, I, I think that shit was made up. But uh, it could be election related. That was my first thought. Either uh, the rumor was AT&T uh, Nashville had possibly gotten the some Dominion voting machines that they were going to do a forensic audit on. I've heard nothing to back that up. Uh, but they're also a data center, so there could be some kind of collusion with China or Russia, and maybe they were they were targeted. Uh, I don't know. Who knows? We'll probably never know because obviously the feds are telling us that uh, that he blew himself up and nobody can find him. So is it another Richard Jewell conspiracy? Possibly. Uh, it's kind of funny how they had him. They had him a few, you know a day later, and they found his RV at his house on Google Maps. Like I don't even know how to fuck you would search for an RV in Nashville on Google Maps. I mean, are you pulling up every street? Maybe they had the VIN number and they traced it back to his house. I don't know. Uh, it's it is what it is. But that's why I wasn't here Saturday night because I didn't have internet until early Monday morning. So that was fun, all Christmas weekend with no friggin' internet. But, it's just another weird 2020 thing that we'll probably, probably never know about. You know, we'll never know about what happened in Vegas at the Mandalay Bay with the, with the active shooter there. We'll never know the truth for that, so. Without getting too political, like Young Shirt said, uh, A lot of shady shit going on that we're probably never gonna know. So, it is what it is. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. I wouldn't even look at, I don't even know why I was looking at the fireball. That was the worst boss death I've probably ever had. That was very bad. That was very dumb. Probably not gonna give me a power of fire. There we go. I'll take it. Yeah, I feel like we're test subjects too, and it's funny that you say that. There's a New York Times post. Or a New York Post article that came out. Which, you know, people don't trust the post, they trust the Times. Post is usually, which is true. The post usually is more opinion, opinion based stuff. Anyway, a post article came out saying that um, this pandemic may not even be the big one. Uh, you know, wait for what's coming next. I've said that all all year long. That this is just a dress rehearsal for whatever's coming after this. And we're all test subjects and guinea pigs uh, on a worldwide scale, which has never been ever been done before, uh, to see what the governments can get away with and what they can't get away with. And uh, we, as citizens uh, globally, uh, in all of these countries, uh, many of us have proven that we'll just we're just gonna tuck our head in the sand and do whatever they tell us to do. Nice, Trey. That's good. Thank you for the GGs. That wasn't a bad level. Uh, so without getting too deep into that, you know how I feel about it all. Uh, the next time a major virus comes around, whether it's man-made or not, um, and odds are it will be manufactured, uh, all this stuff they're doing now, everything that they did this year, whether it be lockdowns or masks or, you know, whatever is going to be... You're right, it's going to be the new normal. It's going to be, the groundwork has already been laid for our automatic response to how we deal with all this. And uh, I refuse to participate. Now, if you want to talk vaccine and shit like that, obviously you've seen a lot of people have horrible side effects from the vaccine. I see the box down there now. Uh, you've seen, I think it was uh, El Paso. Uh, one of the doctors that got it there. The plunger was already depressed. Uh, there was nothing in the vial. They acted like they shot him. Uh, if you see Dr. Fauci got 
got the vaccine that, uh, well, they shot him in his, what, his right, his left arm, supposedly, and then afterwards he said he had pain in his arm, uh, but it wasn't too bad, but he was holding the wrong arm. I mean, uh, don't even get me started about that shit, guys. Um, it's, it's messed up, and I, I'm not getting something that was rushed through. Uh, I completely believe in herd immunity. Just like any flu or any virus, we all need to just get it and move on. Oh, you're having to give me the one-up. Thank you, Wiggles. It is what it is. Uh, it's just, it's unfortunate. Uh, now you got a virus that supposedly came from Wiggles. Uh, he gave it to everybody and they, they brought it over here to Los Angeles. Kidding. It was Wiggles' brother. Uh, and now there's a, a deadlier strain of it. I don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore. Thank you for the GDs. Anyway, I'll stop talking about it. I want to have a good time. Uh, just... My only advice, guys, just be smart. Be wary of things. Question everything. Glenn... Whether you've heard of Glenn Beck or not, or whatever you think of him politically, he's always had this country's best interest at heart. And his advice was always question with boldness. And that really comes from Thomas Jefferson. Question with boldness. Don't believe everything everybody tells you. Don't even believe what I tell you. Do the homework for yourself. Do the research for yourself. And form your own opinions. Uh, that's what being in a free society is all about. While it's still free. <clears throat> and that's all I'll say about that. Maybe. <laughs> you know me. I get on my soapbox. Uh, let's go this way. But I love you guys. And I'm glad you're always here. Regardless of what you think of my political views. You keep coming back, and uh, that's that's really cool. Um, I think I want to... Do... Yeah, that's not what I want to do. I want to do that, and then I want to do that, and then... I didn't want to do that. I have a P-switch. I need to hit the switch. I need to get the 10 coin. No, I need to hit the switch again. Uh, and then go get my Yoshi back. And then give him up again. That guy, those are only snowballs. Do I get to work from home? Absolutely. Which is, uh, the best part of all that right now. Fortunately, I am able to work from home and still get paid to work. Could be worse. Right, so I need to bring a snowball with me. Which is good. If I can do that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, I see what I gotta do. Never mind. No, I'm done. Wiggles, how's it going in Europe, dude? I know, uh, things are pretty effed up where you are. You guys have, like, the tightest frickin' restrictions, right? I don't know why I jumped there. Yeah, that's probably, you know, the major thing that came out of all this. I'm still able to work. Hey, sweetheart! What you doing, honey? You got some what? Yay, it's a naked baby. I'm like a baby. I'm naked baby. I just got out of the bath. You took a bath? Yeah. You smell good. She loves being naked as a jaybird. I'm telling you, it's her favorite thing. Here's my seatbelt. She calls my. She calls my pants belt. My seatbelt. Thank you, honey. I'll, I'll... I had to loosen it a little bit after dinner. Okay, that's not what I want to do, but that's fine. What is right here? Oh, this is the back way. How did I get around the... I took a shortcut. No, I went on spikes. 
Oh, I went I went backwards. Yeah, that was weird. <gasps> oh, excuse me. What, honey? Oh, I'm supposed to go here. Where's Yoshi and Mar? Probably in your tent. You get it, Mama. You get it, Mama. Yeah. No, I've already been here. I just have no idea how I went backwards. It's weird. Anyway. We're back. Newspapers saying that it'll be all over by February. Hopefully that's true, but I'm skeptical. I hope they are. I mean, for your sake, dude. Uh, England's been really rough with uh, with their uh, stipulations and whatnot. I also want to know how how does a, how does a man-made strain. Mutate. Okay. It's all very odd to me this year. I don't know. I'm really kind of pissed off still that we lost Eddie Van Halen. I mean, God. God, was amazing. Where am I going, by the way? Am I going back down? Another checkpoint. I guess we're going here. Any update in the second stimulus? Uh, did Pelosi and the assholes vote on that standalone bill? The Republicans denied it. There you go. They're trying to figure out a way to do it without all the pork belly spending and earmark stuff and all that. So. Yeah, they didn't cut any of the crap out, like ten million dollars to Pakistan for gender research or weird shit. Not much different from the lockdown you had earlier. Oh, okay. I hope my ride's coming back. I feel like it might not be. I'm gonna have to kind of uh, wing it. I think it's coming back. Alright, we'll just... Maybe that was what I was supposed to do? I don't even know. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, if that was not the intended strat, uh, that was pretty amazing. Get crushed. Okay. Uh, what? What am I doing? Do I need Yoshi? Jesus, I was just at the fucking end. <sighs> Thanks for that. Well, after the amazing saves that I had, we just died. I was totally distracted. Oh, that's two deaths. I shouldn't have had. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, she's... Baby was acting up. She started screaming. I uh, completely lost focus. 
That's some really nice uh, MLG work there, but... That's three deaths. You're killing me. I was at the end. <sighs> Fuck me. I, I'm out of my rhythm now. Really pissed off. We had it. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this freaking part. Oh boy. <laughs> no, at least Yoshi didn't die alone. That's very true. I, I can't. I just can't get this part. Life clutch. Thanks, Addison, for messing me up. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, baby. I don't even want to play that redemption because we got to the end. That's a long ass level. Really on tilt over that. Alright. Let's try this again. We're gonna get the world record on this now. We're back. Now I'm big, so. <laughs> 
this is the way you're supposed to do that. That definitely did cheese it. And <laughs> there's the end. So yeah, I definitely had some Major League Gaming going on there where uh, I bounced off the snowball. That's pretty tight. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> Which is why I'm even more pissed that I couldn't save it. Alright, just wait for bombs to blow up here. I'll take a pizza for this with some pants. Alright, where did I die? He knocked me off, didn't he? Guys. World record. Uh, you're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> 